Today we will finally start cutting the shirt with the two bows. This is the first detail. We will make a bow of it. Because of the bows, we need two lengths of fabric for this shirt. I took two lengths of fabric and folded it along the whole width, so that when I cut out the back, I still have enough fabric for the bows. I'll find use for the extra pieces later. If we fold the fabric like we usually do, we won't have enough of it. In this case, we'll have to make the bow shorter, and I don't want to do it. I pin the back and start cutting. I don't add anything, because we've already added enough for the seams. Don't ask if we need the seam at the center back or not. If you don't like it at all, don't make it. I cut out the back, and I want to tack the center back immediately. I'll cut out the front later. When I finish tacking, I will put the back aside and cut out the front and the bow. I've already cut out the front, I just cut along the pattern, it's very simple. Now I'm taking the center front. From this point, where the hole and the bow start, till the bottom, I added 1 cm for a seam and now I take it. I just need to take the side and the shoulder seams and cut out the cambric bow. I'll do it when I finish taking this seam. The fabric stretches, so I don't add anything. Just 1 cm for a seam here and 5-7 mm for the center back. The neat fabric stretches, so the items are usually pretty loose. This is the front. I tack the center front to the first bow. Let's have a look at what we're doing. Everything is okay. Very nice. I want to tack the side and the shoulder seams and then cut out the second bow. Tack the side seam. I pin the waistlines. It's very easy to tack when the front was cut out on the basis of the back. The seams are even. This is our shirt. We haven't attached the upper bow yet, so the opening of the neckline is pretty low now. I'll cut out the second bow and show you. Cut out the bow of the two layers of cambric. You can use your imagination. For example, make a bow of the fabric with the small flowers, or add the binding. You can change the sleeve too. You can use the chiffon instead of the cambric. I had just the cambric of the same color. This is the first bow, and this is the second one. I've already tacked it. I think that it's too wide for the neckline, so I fold it in half and tack. I'm not making up something new. I just fold it in half and tack. I've already made an asymmetric top of different colors, so probably this one will be of different colors too. This is a new level for us, not one bow, but two. God, I will look so good in it. I want to explain that I folded the cambric in half just along the neckline. It's loose further. Have a look here. The first bow is at the chest level. When I tie it, you can see the draping here. The width of the bow is 15 cm and I tie it. There is no surprise that we get the draping here. I also tie the upper bow, which is made of cambric. I think I'll make the shirt of different colors. I've showed you a pretty simple, but very interesting design. I had a dress with a big number of so-called tails. My granddaughter was very small at that time. She grabbed those tails and said, looks like a horse's tail. My husband said that I wear strange clothes. It's not clear whether it's a bow, an accessory, horse's tail or noodles. But I can say that I can wear whatever I like. Be different and beautiful. Use your imagination. Don't copy what I do, do better. My name is Paukšte Irina, subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.